Tell me if this unlocks a memory for you. Hi there, face here. Remember him? I'm Alex Clark, this is Poplitics, the first ever cute conservative. Oh, I said cute conservative. Well, it is cute conservative, but it's also conservative, and we're a daily pop culture show. Thumbs up, subscribe. Oh, hold on. What's that, producers? Jordan Peterson would like a word. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. Thank you, Mr. Peterson, I concur. Oh, let's do a show! Um. Um, okay. Ready to solve a mystery today? The grocery store was out of sourdough bread, which is my favorite, so I opted for a fresh organic loaf of Italian. I've never had that before, but my toast tasted sour this morning and I couldn't even finish it, I threw it away. Now, the question is, was it my salted butter that I leave out on the counter and don't refrigerate, or this Italian bread? It is a criminal case fit for Law & Order SVU. It's one of you babies, was it? My reaction to Kanye West's bizarre appearance on Tim Pool, this non-binary Biden admin official just got a felony for stealing a woman's clothes. Sorry, not sorry to haters, but we need to debate if Taylor Swift is the last true pop star. A children's hospital in Wisconsin has hired spiritual advisors to tell sick kids that God is transgender. And What's Good Wednesday is gonna be for the pet lovers today. Brand new merch for both Poplitics and The Spillover is available now on tpusamerch.com. A Poplitics crew neck and spillover hoodie. The hoodie is not a normal thick hoodie, it is a quality Thinner material and buttery soft. Our beautiful Give Me Tea or Give Me Death mug sold out in the first 20 minutes it was posted. So we are going to add more of those by next week. There's also a sticker pack available, which is a great stocking stuffer, secret Santa present, or gift to yourself. Avocado. Thanks. When I saw that Kanye West was on a PJ with Nick Fuentes and Milo Yiannopoulos, I... <sighs> Turns out they were all headed to do an appearance on Tim Pool's podcast. Tim Pool, by the way, is one of the speakers at America Fest this December in Phoenix, Arizona. It will take place the 17th through the 20th and features country concerts with Chase Rice, Riley Green, Raylan, and more. Get a discount on your tickets at amfest.com with code Politics. Anyways, Tim asks Kanye about his claims that Jewish people have ruined his life, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and it went about as well as you'd expect from a man-child. I, I think I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I who think. was they though? We can't Cor tell you they is. Can we? Press. I'm not using the. I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use. I'm, I'm talking about. It is about them it. though, isn't it? I mean, because <laughs> no. it, it, because when you think <laughs> about not. it, consider it. In 2018. What do you mean it's not? It, what, what do I mean, like, uh, uh, okay, so how about, are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? He's gone. I'll say it right now. Um, you, guys, I, I, you guys want to bring that stuff up? And then have think the we're not going to have a conversation? Like, like have the discussion. Like you, you if Kanye thinks he's been exploited by the Jews, wait till he finds out about the two political opportunist bomb throwers he's been hanging out with. The only person ruining Kanye's life at the present moment is himself. One of them wants to grift designer clothes off Kanye, and one of them wants to impress his rabidly gay cult following. That being said, those three are about the weirdest thruple I've ever seen. But Candace Owens says Kanye's a genius, so. <laughs> the non-binary they that the Biden administration hired to be in charge of nuclear waste was charged with a felony for stealing a woman's luggage at the Minneapolis airport baggage claim. He went down to the baggage claim for no reason because authorities figured out he did not even check a bag himself. He went up to a random baggage carousel and chose a navy blue Vera Bradley bag. He popped off the luggage tag, he put it in his purse, then walked very fast out of the airport. That's when he got an Uber and checked into a nearby hotel with the bag. Most assume so he could steal the woman's clothes and have a little Silence of the Lambs moment. What the hell is even that? Really surprising, to be honest. They seemed like such a stable, well-adjusted creature. 
Back off, hideous creature. You know how I know he's not a real woman? He wanted a Vera Bradley bag. Those of us women with actual taste would never. We haven't heard anything this profound since Rochefoucauld. Just a few decades ago, someone like this would have been locked away in a rubber room. Now they wear rubber in the White House. Anyways, I'm sure this they them is super competent at managing the nation's nuclear waste program. Stealing a woman's suitcase and sniffing her underwear is just a bump in the road to restoring democracy. Is y'all right upstairs? It's time we have a real debate in the comments. Who is the last real pop star? Vice believes the evidence shows it is Taylor Allison Swift. No. <laughs> Calm down, Heather. No one is saying you have to declare Taylor as your favorite artist, but you will be a fact denier if you can't admit Vice is right. And as conservatives, we know that facts don't care about your feelings. When it comes to pop music, Taylor Swift is the last star standing who brings the starstruck fever out of people. Now, Vice said, shifting more albums and filling more stadiums than her contemporaries, Taylor has created a hysteria unseen since the industry's golden era. They elaborated, as audiences have splintered, aided by the sheer scale of the internet and the inverse size of internet saturated attention spans, dominant, do, what? Dominant, okay, no one understands the second part. Basically what Vice said is that people like Madonna and Michael Jackson and Britney Spears, they have all kind of started to feel like relics from another time. Like nobody gets that hype about an artist anymore. And isn't that undeniable, even for you Swift haters? There are multiple Video evidence, Real. social media evidence. Real. The sky is blue, and Taylor Swift is the only pop star left. You can fight it out in the comments. So a children's hospital in Wisconsin is receiving backlash after hiring transgender activists to serve as chaplains to the kids, and they also hired a spiritual care intern, according to the Daily Mail. Earlier this year, this woman and the, the transgender couple, she wrote, love Jesus, be gay, get ordained on Facebook. The spiritual intern hired by the hospital posted on TikTok that maybe God is actually trans. God is trans. <laughs> Follow. Let me explain. Okay? God beyond gender. God, yes, man. God, yes, woman. God, yes, they, them. Yes. God more than? God not man, God not woman, God not they, them, God beyond. Yes. God beyond gender. That's pretty non-binary, don't you think? But also, that beyond gender God became a man in Jesus. That's pretty trans. God is trans. God is trans. God is trans. Again, why do these people always take jobs working with children? That's my question. It is always a job with kids. Isn't that strange to you? Step away from the child. Hope you're ready for a segment where I tell you a story that will melt the crap out of you. It's time to see what's good. <coughs> Bless you, Valentina. <laughs> what's good? A New Jersey cat got a Thanksgiving miracle after his shelter posted about his emotional well-being on social media. Homeward Bound Pet Adoption Center, I see what they did there, shared that this cat named Fishtifer was out of sorts, wouldn't look up for pictures, wouldn't eat if he was alone, and overall was sad and depressed. But after the post about Fishtifer went viral, one couple drove from Baltimore to meet and adopt him. Apparently, Fishtifer has been thriving ever since, and his story is bringing attention to other pets that are up for adoption at the shelter. I don't know what's going on in Baltimore, but my best friend Lauren can attest to this. There was a time a couple years ago that I came across on the internet some animal shelter uh, outside of Baltimore, and they had a little white dog, a crusty white dog, named Mashed Potato. And I have never stopped thinking about Mashed Potato. So if you live in the Baltimore area and you happen to adopt Mashed Potato, I wanted that dog! And I'm not a dog person, but... 
I just love the name. Now, I'm also not a cat person. I'm really not an animal person at all, but Fishtifer looks like a fish cat cinnamon roll, if that even makes sense, and I hope he lives out all of his days happily with rat toys and catnip. <laughs> Big boxing match in the comment section today. First, thumbs up if you laughed this episode. Subscribe to this channel. Tell someone you know to subscribe. Tell someone they know to subscribe, and so on and so on. And also debate who is the last true pop star. Is Vera Bradley in or out? What do you think about the idea that God is trans? And if you own a cat, what is its name? We're back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Politics.